how's it going guys we're back with Molokotawa Shoujo um, this is part 90 this is I'm not gonna make it a special um, since you know time and stuff like that you gotta go record some more stuff and so last part uh, they can uh, um, yeah that's, that's all I can say I'm not really good on describing that but eh. so let's just load it and Great outlook. She gives a small. Oh, wait, what's going on? I completely forgot what's going on. Even though I just recorded it like a few seconds ago. She gives us a smile so large and so earnest, I find myself blushing. I think it's the brightest I've ever seen her expression look. Then I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I'm sorry for not telling you anything about it before. Things have been. Hanako shakes her head from side to side. Empath. Empath. Empathically. No, oh, I can't say. Apparently, forgetting in her rush that Lily couldn't possibly notice. She begins fiddling with her fingers, looking a little more nervous than she did before. To be honest, I began to think you might like each other for a while ago. For a while ago. At first I didn't really know what to think about it, but I... I decided in the end that if my friends are happy, then I'm happy. I was really glad to have another friend when we met at Sal. That's Sal! I can't say. So you finding love through him is even better, right? A feeling of relief at her acceptance of our relationship falls over me like a wave. Woo! The same happens to Lily judging by her expression. Thank you, Hanako. I really appreciate you being so understanding. Lily's voice still sounds slightly apologetic, or at least unsure. This doesn't escape Hanako, who appears lost in thought for a few moments before turning to me. Hey, so, do you mind if me and Lily go outside for a bit? Uh, no. Feel free. Hanako. Yo, something is up. Hanako gets up from her seat, taking Lily's hand and almost dragging her from the table in her excitement. Considering Lily's typically slow and steady pace, Hanako's haste makes her footing awkward and she almost loses her balance a couple of times. Ha! Ah, that was suck. It's a pretty amusing sight, leaving me wordless as I watch them disappear out the door. It's only now that I realize that the rain stopped, being replaced by sky seemingly all the more vivid and bright to make up for the morning gr morning's drab gray expanse. For Hanako, this must be a pretty big revelation. Lily and I are really the only people she associates with, almost as if we're, we were her we were parents in her own steed. I suppose, I suppose that might well be the best to describe the relationship we share. A father, mother, and daughter all playing around in our little make-believe family as if it could last forever. Well, that's a nice thing to go through. It might be a strange dynamic and one that certain, certainly can't last for long, but maybe, just for this one small moment, it's okay. Voice is killing me now. As I stand from the table and go to join Lily and Hanukkah in the fields outside, I nod to myself in affirmation. What is making that noise outside? There's only a small amount of happiness, no matter how brief, will last with me. With all of us forever. Um. Okay. Bath. Uh. Submerged deep in the hot water, I let in, let a drawn out sigh escape my lips. The feeling of seemingly very every muscle in my body relaxing and ephro if euphoric euphoric. I have no idea how long it's been since I had a genuine hot bath, but right now I can hardly be bothered trying to remember. Maybe I'm giving the simple fact that for once I get to have a real, a real bath, bay bath, bay man, more credit than it's due. The chance is, the chance to just calm down, allow myself to unwind and have some time to myself is a welcome one. Hanako and Lily and I wandered out about outside, exploring the extent of the surprisingly large tract of land surrounding the house. Then we spent the majority of the afternoon resting, watching television, reading, and playing cards. Cards, ooh. Like, I still want to know how they managed to figure play cards without a table. It may not have been the most exciting finale to the trip, but such tranquil peacefulness is something to savor. Even after we return to the school tomorrow, even after we return to the school tomorrow, I think I'll remember this little house in Hokkaido for a long time. It's a pity we only have a couple more hours to spend here before going to get the train back. All I can do is yawn contentedly. While I watch the steam slowly rising from the clear water place, place its surface, my eyes eventually locking onto the ceiling. Our exams are imminent. I've barely studied at all for them. 
On top of that, I don't even know what I'll do after graduation. Passing is passing exam is all well and good, but to what end? Also now of all times, I'm getting into a relationship. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, what are you? I guess I shouldn't think like that. What's done is done, and maybe this could be viewed as just another aspect of my new life that I'm working on. I enjoy being with Lily, and there's more to life than school and a career after all. Like babies. Uh, okay, no, no, don't have babies actually, it's too young. As I busily attempt to re rationalize all what's happened, I hear a, sound, a series of raps on the door. I pick myself up and sit upright, trying to figure out the source. Three, no more, no less, and no less. Light yet assertive in their tapping and timidly regularly enough to tune a metronome, I'd be extremely surprised if it wasn't Lily. May I come in? Yeah, it's Lily. I'm still in the bath, I'll be out in a sec. I s clicked out! I I know! What? She knows? Okay, now I'm kinda scared. The voice coming from the other side of the door freezes me. After a second stun, I rest on the side of the bath and I let my arms dangle over the side. Despite trying to, my best to play it off, I can't help letting my mind wander. Sure, come in. Yeah, no, don't tell me this is another awkward scene. I swear to God, this is another awkward scene. With that, she opens the door, slowly walking into the room and closing it behind her. She looks oddly calm, countering my racing heart. Uh, hey Lily, she can't see you, she can't see you, oh. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Do you mind if I take a bath with you? I don't mind. Go ahead. No, no, dude. But a small notch, she begins to lift her sweater off her shoulders, bearing her chest little by little. I swear to God. I swear to God. I can't do that for no. Don't. I refused. Why? Yeah, she, her face shows she's still not overly comfortable with letting me attend to her. I can't say I blame her. She continues undressing her skirt, her shirt and skirt. Hey, that rhymed. I just realized that. Falling to the floor and leaving her in her white lace bra and panties. Eventually, she stands bare in the center of the room. That is not what you said. She compares the last time, it's a lot easier to take in her entire figure. It's a wonderful sight. Ah, no. You're thinking perverted thoughts, aren't you? She knows you! Give me a break, you're undressing in front of me. She throws her brown thought. I guess this would be somewhat more erotic for you than me. Why? Oh. She gives a small light and light-hearted chuckle which seems to settle her nerves a little. If this is too much for you, so I can come back later. Come back later. No, 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 this is fine. I'm just a bit well. You're really beautiful, you know? My earnest comment draws a vivid red blush from Lily, Hesal. I give a small grin. She's cute when she's taken off guard. In any case, may I come in? Uh, sure. <laughs> Oh no, why is my stomach grumbling? No, I'm gonna have the munchies. Picking the munchies. I lean forwards and take her soft hands in, in mine, helping her over the side of the bath. And she feels out the side of the bathtub, then slowly lowers herself in, my breath catching when she sits and leans back in, onto my front, her legs inside mine. I expected her to sit at the other end. Oh, this is awkward. You're like, you're like right next to that thing, that, that ladle thing. You know, that freaking that turns the water and stuff like that. And freaking it's like, hey, you know, turn to put more water in. And I don't know what, what's it called? Like the nozzle? I think the, I don't know what it's called, but like, you know, you know, it's like a freaking, like, I don't know how to explain it. It will sound really weird if I do. Letting on a long breath to calm myself, I rest my arms on the side of her, the bath as I struggle to control my urges. Far from missing the side of her uh, assets. The feeling of her body against mine is surprisingly relaxing. If Lily is so sensitive to touch, it must be all more, all the more so for her. You were in the bats quite hard, hot, don't you? Uh, a bit. Do you want me to run some cold water to cool it down a bit? She gives a small shake of her head. No, this is fine. Okay. The conversation comes to an abrupt end. Silence taking up. Wait, do you guys? Lock the door, you know, who knows might come in like Rin. It would be really weird if Rin just like opened the door it's like, oh. And then she like, there's a cloud. And then like, oh no, it's gone. And then walk out. A very long and aw very awkward silence. Maybe this was a bit too, don't worry, it's okay. The situation only became even more awkward as if to distract herself. Lily runs her free hand over her legs while holding one of, 
over her chest for modesty. I sit idly watching the wall ahead of me in the rising steam, every now and again stealing a glimpse at her body. The white of her skin glistens as she keeps sliding her hand over her legs, their length and tone all the more obvious. You know, compared to her carrier, you look a lot more foreign. I took after, I took after my mother's side. Genetically, Akira took after my father's more. I guess that makes sense. How on earth did a native Scot and a Japanese businessman meet anyway? My mother was a journalist. She met my father while he was at a conference in Inverness. Ah, I see. Taking after your Scottish side, you would also explain your height, I suppose. Uh, eh. My stomach just growled. Shut up, stomach. I look back down at her as she nods and sigh at the ridiculousness of the situation. This is, really is too much, isn't it? You're enjoying it, though, aren't you? In some ways, yes, I guess things turned out okay in the end. Everything settled down, Hanako took our relationship well, and we'll be going back to school tomorrow. Yay, school, indeed. It's a shame to be going back so soon, but we'll still have our memories of this place. Memories, huh? I suppose so. We'll have to see how everything goes once we get back, but for now, I'm just glad you like me. Oh wait, oh, whoops, wrong person. I've been lining myself up for weeks for about that, so I'm thankful for things t turning out like this. She nods, leaning in, leaning into me as we share the warmth of our bodies. I'm not sure whether she'll be okay with it or not, but our temptation rapidly begins to get the better of my of my self restraint. Hey, Lily. Yes. How was it? How was it? Last night, that is. She pauses in thought before looking down slightly. A delicate smile finds its way, finds its way onto her lips as she blushes. Her body becoming more relaxed. It's more than enough to answer the question. Answer the question. Yeah. Even as I give a small note in response, thoughts of last night run through my mind. Considering the situation, I don't really think anyone would blame me. Hey, how your heart's beating. Her voice is cut off as I del delicately place a hand on her thigh while I resisted before the memory of our first time is enough to make me give in. She lets her, she lets her body lean into mine without a word of protest, an invitation that I'd be hard I'd be hard but to ignore. I place a small kiss on her neck to accept before slowly moving my hand over her smooth legs. Smooth. Okay, that's kinda of weird, never mind. Just help, please. Even as she says it, her mouth curls upward in to a smile, her tone caught between embarrassment and awkward giggling. Eventually, she takes one of my hands in hers, guiding it to her right chest. I greatly appreciate the tentative guidance she's willing to give me. All signs of tension in her body give way. I continue to take in the feeling of a soft skin, redoubled as my other hand slips between her legs. <laughs> okay, I think I should have read that. Um, I wonder if the feeling of my hands on her is exaggerated by her lack of sight, since her other senses are so finely tuned. Tuned! She does seem to be enjoying it to a surprising extent, after all, it gives me a somewhat odd feeling, but a pleasurable one. It only takes a few minutes before her body stops to squirm every so slightly, her efforts to stifle her moaning become visible, become visible as she purses her lips, her light-hearted whisper, Protest, 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 what? Protestations become noticeably no, more quiet. This makes me realize that all her squirming, squirming against my body made me increasingly excited as well. Oh, okay, you're excited. Alright, that's cool. This is really weird for me to be reading this. I withdraw my hands to give her adult senses time to respond. Nodding, she shakily stands and offers her hands for me to lead her out of the cramped bathtub. Oh, come on! Really? This is really weird now. The bathroom now. First, the... Ah. She maneuvers herself out of the bath as I do our hands holding each other's. Eventually, I sit beside the bathtub, the two of us fussing around a little until we get comfortable. With a small gas, desperately constrained to avoid being audible outside, she lowers herself onto me once again. The way she moves makes it obvious that she must still be on the verge of her climax. Eh, yeah, she's slowly... Oh god, okay, I'm not reading this. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Uh, this is, like, I know, I get it, it's love and stuff, but like, in a row? Really? A day after? God. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Your loins. Ugh. I'm still hungry. Um, in a few s precious seconds, it's all over. Lily slumping forward onto me as I try to regain myself. That was good. She takes a gulp of air before replying, steadying herself as she nods. Mmm? M's? M's? She bows her head down to give a small case. Case? Kiss my hand, reaching up to hold strands of her dis he disheveled hair as we once again sit in blissful silence. Oh my god. Oh, and this is gonna be 20 minutes. This is really weird. I'm still pretty. Wow. That was fast. I like the animation here. It's really cool. Hey. Moving train. After a chaotic dash to the station, dash to the station and finding our seats in the otherwise deserted carriage, carriage, we promptly crashed. Looking at the time close to midnight, it's a little surprised that few take this particular train. Hanako is fast asleep on Lily's shoulder. She looks really peaceful. These two look really peaceful. Asleep on Lily's shoulder and I can only barely muster the energy to stay awake. The excitement we had a while ago probably didn't help. I'd probably be pretty depressed about going back to school if my brain was actually working. As it is though, the sight of the nighttime scenery scrolling by is surprisingly beautiful. My loud yawn is nearly woolly, woolly drowned out by the clacking of the train tracks and the old carriages uh, rattling. So tired. And whose fault is that? She's awake! She's awake! Voice- God, I, I don't know how I managed to get my voice really high. She really does the, t does the tell the line between insulting and amusing sometimes. So I managed to ring out a weary smile. She's like, I can't believe she's awake. I look back at, out the window, my reflection just visible at the clear pane. Truth be told, she's perfectly correct. If it weren't for that little in interlude for a few hours ago, both of us have would have a lot more energy. On top of that, we both have to take our, take another bath. Very nearly making us late for the train's departure. Congratulations! You made yourself late for the train, man. Yeah, yeah, it was mine. Still, getting into a bath with a guy is a dangerous thing to do. Evidently. Sorry, I guess I kind of took advantage of this situation back there. I think you did. Well, I didn't exactly hate it. Oh god, she doesn't have that Z on her face anymore. What the heck? As she trolls off, I look back to her. My eyes narrow as I see her slightly reddened cheeks and small grin. Her mind obviously is elsewhere. I swear to god, if they do this in the bathroom here, I... Uh, any part right there. Say it. I knew the possibility of it happening was there. I knew it. You're just as dirty minded as I am. She quickly calms into her free hand, making her disapproval crystal clear. That's a rather crude way of putting it. Hey, what is that? Is she bleeding? What? I, I don't know what- is that supposed to be like- Oh god, I'm so confused now. Oh, and would you- and what you would suggest? I merely really have a healthy, excellent sex drive. So in other words, dirty minded. Wow. Almost seeming to sense the moment Hanako mumbles quietly as she throws her brow in Lily's lap. Bro or brow? She eventually nods, her spoon still in her mouth as she does. Did you accept? I did. Spoon! I like spoons. Okay, I'm gonna end it off here. Um, I'm not sure what else to do. Since it's kind of weird, but oh well. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I really don't know what to do now. And then, as always, I hope you guys have a great day.